So, Yong Bin, tell us uh, what's happening with LTE. Have there seems to have been a lot of developments since last time I was here at Mobile World Congress. That's absolutely true. Uh, if you look at the LTE since 2006, 7, now we're almost like nine years. There's yep. a lot of features building into LTE already. And the latest one is called LTE Advanced Pro. Okay. The one thing that we introduced as part of that is the our recent product announcement of X16, which support gigabit uh, BPS transmission in a single modem, where you use multiple carriers. Right. That's part of the LTE Advanced Pro. Yeah. The other thing that has been going on is we are adding more support of unlicensed spectrum use for cellular service. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. What's the? I mean, what, is that something which has been driven by customer demand? Oh, absolutely. If you look at the. the all the you know traffic exploding. There's a lot of traffic, and uh, for the service provider, they really need more small cells. But also, more importantly, or well, equally importantly, more spectrum. Okay. So traditionally, all the services are being done in a licensed spectrum. Then you have a lot of unlicensed spectrum available there right. that can potentially be used for cellular service. Yeah. And matter of fact, actually, it has been used by the service provider. If you look at the uh, today, many service providers are using Wi-Fi to offload the traffic. Right. So the first thing actually we try to do is try to aggregate LTE and Wi-Fi at a higher layer. Mm. And that's what, what we call LTE Wi-Fi aggregation. Right. So right. in terms of uh, efficiency, we can do more. Yeah. And that's what happened for what we call LAA. So what does it mean is very similar to the existing framework of LTE or Advanced Pro. One of the features is called carry aggregation. Yes. What it does, it takes multiple carriers, you can put them together as one big pipe so it can push data through. Obviously, there's a lot of benefit about that. Absolutely. Five gigahertz unlicensed spectrum because yeah. the five gigahertz, there's a regulation, you cannot transmit very high power. Right. So it's perfect for small cell. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But for time being, release 13, we only do downlink, means transmission from base station to terminal. Right. Now, the next step, the second phase of this feature, is to support the uplink transmission in unlicensed care as well. Yeah. That's happened what we call enhanced LAA. Yeah. Uh, and we're in this MWC 16, we're yeah. actually showing that in real uh, life uh, in Barcelona. You know, a lot has happened since last year's show. Um, what do you expect us to see coming down the, the pike from Qualcomm in the next 12 months? If you look at the LAA or ELAA, yeah. uh, there's assistance from license spectrum. Yeah. That is a plus because it help because the license spectrum is reliable, it's there, yeah. it can help. So the question is, can someone offer a LT kind of service in the unlicensed spectrum only? Right. That's a big question. It really expanded the ecosystem LTE if it can support that. Yeah. So one thing we have did is uh, it's called multi-fire. Yeah. So what it does means we can, you know, continue all the work we did for LA, ELA. Yeah. But we move everything into unlicensed spectrum only. Right. Obviously, there's a question about okay, going in there, yeah. there's, no, there's no longer a licensed spectrum to help. Yeah. Would it work? Yeah. That's exactly what we are showing here in wow. this uh, demo here. Yeah. Uh, actually, we can. So yeah. all the you know the technical we build for LTE all get in there. Yeah. On top of that, as any uh, you know unlicensed technology how to coexist with other technology. Yeah, exactly, In this that's case, the big question. Yes, that's the exactly. big question. Does it, is, how yeah. do you solve that problem? Exactly, so uh, there is a, on, on the very top, you have the regulation. Yeah. Because for every unlicensed spectrum, always the like, radio coexistence is very important. Yes. Put all the Wi-Fi together in the system yeah. and see how they perform. Yes. Then we replace some of the uh, Wi-Fi with either e enhanced LA or modifier yeah. and see if there's Im uh, any impact to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. It turns out, not only we benefit by advanced radio technology like uh, LA or modifier, mm. it can coexist very well with Wi-Fi. To some extent, actually, it also helps Wi-Fi in yeah. a sense because, yeah. you might be wondering why that's the case, yeah. yes. Because the, uh, the link for enhanced LA and modifier fire it's more efficient. Yeah. The moment because it's more efficient, once you deliver the pack, yeah. You know the packet and data, it gives more opportunity for Wi-Fi. I understand. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a much more efficient usage. Yes. Exactly. Very cool. Thank you yeah. so much. You've been you've obviously been busy. <laughs> it's, it's really a pleasure. Thanks Thank so you much, very much for spending for the, the time with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.